Hi, and this is a uh, supplement to a blog post that I'm writing on um, uh, right hand techniques uh, and especially uh, for uh, one tune that Jerry Reed wrote and recorded many, many, many years ago. Um, gosh, back when I was first learning to play the guitar, is one of the one of the first songs I learned to play. But um, it's called the Claw, and uh, I want to talk about just one of the uh, riffs in it, and it's uh, uh, one that goes like this. <laughs> a few different ways of doing that. Well, there's probably more than a few. There's probably a lot. But uh, I obsessed over that for a long while on what's the best way to do it and how does Jerry do it and how does Chet do it and um, how did Tommy Jones do it and how did Buster Jones do it and so forth and who is really right. And of course, nobody's really right. It's all a matter of uh, doing what's best for you and what's most comfortable. Anyway, I wanted to show you a couple of the subtle little um, uh, ways of going about, uh, different ways of going about picking and getting the same sound out of it. Um, I will, uh, in the blog post, I'll reference a couple of videos by uh, uh, Chet and Jerry and uh, one by Tommy. And if you watch those videos real close, you can see that Chet is getting uh, that lick this way, and he's using all three fingers and using the middle uh, or the index finger as a kicker. And that's pretty much the way I've been playing it for the last several years. I learned to play it not using, I learned to play it using just two fingers. I think the way Jerry actually got it on the record, and if you watch the video that I'll be linking to, you can see it's probably a little bit more like this. not just down there, but also up here. And there's a couple ways of getting that, that note, or those notes. You can do it that way, which I prefer, or you can do it it a little bit easier for transitioning into the A part. If you're going to get the, the G note open. Uh, again, the way Tommy Jones plays it is um, with the two fingers. I think I haven't studied that really, really closely, but if you watch his video, it, He's using only two fingers, and that's a pretty close approximation to what he does. And again, going back to you know, the way Jerry originally played it. The, what's the point? Is there one? Uh, I think the point is you can become too obsessed with fingering techniques. I think it's really, really important to pay a great deal of attention to finger fingering techniques and to uh, practice your arpeggios and, and to uh, always think about what's the best way to do something when you're working a tune out to begin with. Uh, Jerry used to do that a lot. Chet used to say that uh, uh, Jerry uh, always had the best uh, techniques for fingering. He always had it, had it figured out. 
uh, exactly how to best play a song, not just how to play a song, but how to best play a song. And um, I do think it's really important to spend time on getting good techniques, getting proficient in those techniques. But I think you can obsess about them, and I have. Uh, and I think what you do is you wind up wasting a lot of time when you could be playing the music, you know, just pick a way it works and feels comfortable to you and go from there. And uh, pretty much covers it for now. Thanks.